Okay, so this video is going to take a look at the harmonic distortion for an audio frequency signal uh, coming out of this Rigol uh, signal generator, uh, and it's generating a signal at 1 kilohertz at uh, minus 10 dBm. Uh, normally, I would like to look at this on a spectrum analyzer, but this spectrum analyzer only goes down to 9 kilohertz, and our signal is at 1 kilohertz. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to uh, use this uh, Tektronics FFT mode in this uh, oscilloscope. Um, let me get the signal on here, and let me then give it some amplitude and get a pretty good span of the stuff in there. And in this oscilloscope, you do math, FFT. There, turn that guy on. Um, and let me turn off this signal display. So now we're seeing the FFT, but I, let me go tweak it a bit. Uh, I like to go in here and set it to dBm uh, and put the reference level at 0 dBm. Okay. Um, and then let's do the scale being 10 dB. Okay, let's see what this looks like. All right, and then also this thing is pretty difficult to use, but it's reasonable. Um, let's go to controls. All right, so uh, Let's do a frequency span of, let's say, like 12 kilohertz. Maybe put in 15. It kind of rounds things to a level. Okay, and then do the center frequency at around 7. Okay, so now we're seeing, um, oh, this flip back. <laughs> Come back to 15. Okay, now we can actually see uh, the signal. Um, and if I go over here and I kind of tweak this a little bit. Let me pull this back. You can see it going down. So we actually are, this is the actual signal here. Um, and the harmonics are kind of buried in the noise, but I think it might be okay to do this. I'm gonna do some averaging on the signal there. I think this is legitimate to do um, in terms of like not messing with the signal strengths. But anyway, if we put in a cursor, let's say do cursors flip it to this kind of cursor and then set this cursor at one kilohertz and let's pick up that other harmonic the um, third harmonic there at three kilohertz there we go and you can see it down here um, so if you look at the um, this is almost like a delta measurement you can see that that um, that harmonic is it's saying about 65 DB down um, so you can see that the, the main signal is at minus 10 dBm, according to it. And then, so if you go like here, you go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Yeah, so it looks right, 65 dB down. Um, so if, if all of this is correct, uh, uh, you know, I don't have a lot of experience with using this FFT mode to, to be absolutely sure that it did this correctly. But if it is correct, then, then you could argue that this uh, signal it's got a pretty low distortion, you know, 65 dB down. I don't know if that's right or not, but hey, that's what I think I'm seeing. All right, thanks for watching.